Sebastian Metal Martinez MMA Nate here in London with Michael Venom Page who faces off with Paul Daly in what is most likely the most anticipated UK MMA fight so far anyway. Yeah. Is that fair to say? A hundred percent. It's definitely uh, both our names and what we've both, you know, built to becoming clashing at the top, just two titans in the UK. And I know that both, it's, it's been going back and forth, both of you seem to have wanted this earlier, but that all, that's also caused a lot of build-up. Is mm -hmm. it in perhaps in some ways just as well that it took some time and now it takes place in the tournament as well? You know, at the time it's always a frustration because you want it to happen. Um, when it, After a while you can look back and say, you know, the build-up has helped, but in all honesty, I genuinely believe the second we got into, or you know, the second the contract was signed, whether it had been earlier or now, it would have still be, had the same kind of uh, feel to it. Mm. And uh, everybody would still be looking forward to it. And everybody, I, think, I think it would have been the same way. The promotion would be the same. We, we genuinely don't like each other, so that helps. Um, and yeah, I, I think no matter when this happened, it would have been a, a very big one. And there's obviously a lot of animosity here, but he's very insistent on that. He doesn't see it as a personal thing. Uh, do you feel that's some kind of defense mechanism? Or what do you make out of all that? He's de it's definitely a defense mechanism. I, I feel like he's trying to not kind of get pulled into the the wind up that I am being yeah. and uh, um, he's, so he's trying to just you know no it's cool look the talking's done for somebody that has said the talking's done you would not be talking yeah. he, he's the talking's done yes yeah, February 16th and he's still going still going still going he's trying so hard to not get sucked in but that that's his personality and he's already making a mistake he's not being true to himself and I think that, you know, he is still a veteran, and I think one could say that he is definitely one of the more experienced guys you've mm -hmm. fought. What do you feel he brings to the table that you haven't necessarily faced before? Absolutely nothing. Um, mm -hmm. And I only say that, I, 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 and I don't underestimate him in any, in any way, shape or form, because he's a great kickboxer, but I've fought many really amazing kickboxers um, my whole life. Full contact, the, my, my style, the points, this, just my whole life. And... I haven't seen any, anything different. He's, he's been the same Paul Daly from when he started MMA to now. So I don't see anything fancy or new coming out from his game. Um, he's the kind of person that will, okay, we're going to go back to the drawing board and kick harder, punch harder, kick harder, punch harder. And it's just going to be the same thing over and over and over again. And one thing that is, uh, I, I feel like is a positive for me is people struggle to land shots on me yeah um so your power is only effective when you hit and if you've only got you know maybe one or two chances and they barely hit i don't i don't i don't see you winning unless i just don't see you winning to be fair so yeah and how much do you feel you're getting to him with all of this trash talk and you know you had the, the tam packs on the table how much do you think you're affecting him oh yeah he hates me oh yeah he definitely hates me he's uh He's a, and this is for me, and, and, and honestly, this is where I want him. I want him just a, a ball of frustration ready to explode. And when you fight with emotion, I fight my best. Mm. I fight my best. People that are composed, it takes me a lot longer to figure it out. And, you know, it's a bit more of a tactical game. Yeah. People that fight with emotion make so many obvious mistakes. And I capitalize on that very well because of my speed, because of my accuracy. I capitalize on that. So aside from capitalizing on their emotion and things like that, what do you feel are your biggest advantages in this fight? Just being uh, a style of fighter that hasn't actually been in the cage before. Mm. Um, nobody's seen the, the, the <laughs> how animated I am, the movement, the timing, uh, the distance control, the sideways stance. And, you, and I always say it's uh, people don't have sparring partners to replicate what I am. And from the inside, oh, sorry, from the outside of the cage looking in, it looks like, yeah, I would, I would just do this. Or look, the low kick's just there. Or look, there's a punch just there. And then when you get in, none of that is available for you. It's just not there. And you realize only in that moment that you can't pull off the game that you may have had in your head. And like I said, I don't see, he doesn't have a plan B. He doesn't have a plan C. He is a kickboxer. Yeah. And that's it. So, and final question: Aside from advancing the tournament, what would this, what would a potential win do for you in terms of UK MMA and sort of like bragging rights for the best fighter in Britain? That's that's all it is. It's just it's just bragging rights. You'll probably see me continually post about him <laughs> for a few months afterwards. Just Salt keep in the wound. just keep poking the bear just a little bit, just for fun. Why not? Um, but yeah, it's, it's more just bragging rights. It, like I said, aside of it being personal. 
a lot of the times personal feuds, and it's weird. People, someone asked me this before. When you see personal feuds, and you, they're like, "Oh no, that was fake. That was fake," because they were hugging afterwards. And it's because, like in my, in my opinion, we have the be best way of dealing with these kind of issues. Yeah. If I have a problem with you, we get it out. You know, two men standing there afterwards, and you're like, you know what? I appreciate what's just happened. It's kind of it's hard to keep the animosity after you know a, a fight's gone gone down, regardless win or lose. Um, but this in this one, nah, I'm not interested in uh, hugging and shaking hands afterwards. All right. Well, fans at home will not be able to expect uh, sort of hugging and shaking and being friends afterwards. But be sure to keep an eye out for the fire that will be Michael Venom Page versus Paul Daly. Thank, Thank you very much. Good luck Thank in the you fight. Very much, man.